are a few words that can accurately describe Uganda. Resilient, entrepreneurial and friendly. In this land of plenty, there is always an opportunity behind every corner. Just ask Michael Kajumbo, founder and owner of A Thousand Cups of Coffee. Tired of seeing his country's delicious coffee being exported overseas, and of course being a coffee addict himself, he was determined to help foster a local demand for the drink. For historical reasons and uh, maybe some oversights, Ugandans haven't been encouraged to drink coffee. For all purposes, coffee has been made for export. So that's the biggest challenge to start that culture. Uh, there's no way we add value locally to all that Robusta. That's a lot of Robusta that we produce. Uh, I think we exported over $330 million worth of, of coffee, both mainly Robusta and a little bit of Arabica. But we do need to value add. We already have some exports in uh, roasted coffee. Uh, we have two companies coming in for instant coffee, two new companies. Uh, that's Tata of India and uh, a Libyan Ugandan joint venture going into instant coffee. So we are hoping to export more. The Chinese market demands instant coffee. They do not have the time to, 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 <laughs> to brew coffee. But for Michael and his customers, there's nothing quite like a slow brewed cup of coffee. The only problem is choosing which one. We will start here. Okay. Here you see some of the coffees the best coffees Uganda can produce. Okay? You've got the natural Robusta from the <coughs> Lake Basin, you've got the natural Arabica from Mount uh, Renzori, you've got the washed Arabica from the Western Lift Valley, then you've got the washed Robusta from the Lake Victoria Basin. Literally, you can have multitudes of combinations of this. You can make your own blend. Okay? and you will come up literally with more than a thousand different types of coffees. Uganda's investment climate is something totally unique. Sound macroeconomic policies perfectly placed geographically between growing markets like South Sudan and the DRC, a great education system, a stable banking sector, a secure environment, and most importantly, really friendly people. Uganda is a welcoming country. Based on our culture, we, we love visitors. And um, Uganda is one place that you walk in set up a business and nobody will ask you about where you come from, who you are and uh, which tribe you belong to. That's one thing that I appreciate about Uganda and like other places that we've been. For business to thrive in any African country in Uganda, uh, for anybody to invest his money in Uganda, he has to first love Uganda. He has to know he's comfortable in Uganda. He has to know that he will be safe in Uganda. Now that is the thing that is happening right now. In this, the history is already gone. If you read books today, you'll find that the Africa's friendliest people are in Uganda. Doing business in Africa is winner of the best TV feature of the Diageo Africa Business Reporting Awards.